that will never get old. No, it just makes you want to dance. <laughs> right about now, you're probably looking for a break, a break from the bitter cold that we just can't seem to shake. Yeah, sure, we may be in for a bit of a warm up coming this weekend, but there's a warm oasis right here, right now, that will transport you to the tropics. And we already know someone who's there. Boaz is live at Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens with some flower power. Hey, Boaz, and you wore the right shirt today. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be in here. I got the tropical shirt on, the floral shirt. I took off my boots, I took off my coat. It feels great in here. They have just opened the Tropical uh, Bones Eye and Orchid Show here at Phipps. I'm here with Jordan Molino, the Associate Director of Exhibits. And this, the theme this year is Into the Mist, which I already see there's some mist surrounding us here. Yeah, the theme this year is all new and it's inspired by the cloud forests of South and Central America. And here in our palm court, you can see this lovely misty wall that's kind of yeah. creating that dramatic effect. These glittery clouds glittery are sort of clouds. oozing mist. And then we've com combined both bonsai and orchids on display um, around this cascading wa waterfall, which is truly incredible. Um, and then sweeps down into this kind of sea of pachyopetalum, um, also known as lady slippers, just for the, the shape of the flowers. That's here. so cool. And there's like an, an orchid like this that's native to Pennsylvania that I saw last spring, like a trout lily. Yes, we which do is have so a native cool. lady, sli yeah. lady slipper, yes. Um, but they're just so unique with their, their colors and textures. And the show is all about those color and texture combinations. Yeah, really well, let's check out some look. of them over here because this is gorgeous how all this is like working together. Yes, and we use quite a few Phalaenopsis um, here in this, uh, it's called Oxblood and White um, for that flower power in the show. So we have thousands of Phalaenopsis kind of bringing that color uh, for the show. And now, then, when you see an orchid like this, I'm like, how long does it take for your artist to paint all the details oh, on know. each of these petals? This Miltoniopsis is just gorgeous. It, to me, it almost looks like a like a Rorschach inkblot test, you know. And then paired with um, just thinking about different textures that we could pair with the orchids. This is a uh, Pilea Moon Valley, and it has a really beautiful kind of rough texture. Gosh, it is beautiful. I feel like orchids get a, a sort of a bad rap for being difficult to take care of, although you're clearly doing something right here because there are like, I don't know, how many thousands of orchids in this show? Thousands of orchids in this show. Um, serious flower power. The Oncidiums are bringing it here in the oranges and the yellows. Um, and then again, with those, those texture combinations, um, this is a very special Nephrolepsis or Boston fern. That has these really cute little round leaves. And I do want to point out, I spotted some birds up here. Yes. Uh, this show is also about the details, like I said. And so there's lots of little crumbs to look for in the show, including um, some of our uh, uh, bird carvings. These are tropical bird species that are um, in the trees here. Well, I want to pop down over here so we can see some more bone size over here in the serpentine room, which is always one of my favorite rooms. Yes, so the Serpentine is home to our tropical bonsai display for the next seven weeks, so come see. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's crazy this room can always look so many different ways. And here it's full of these tiny trees, which even though they look small, many of them are older than us. Mm -hmm, correct. Um, a lot of them have been in training for years. Um, some of the trees in here have been in training since 1980. Wow. So like you said, older than us. Yeah. But for bonsai, it's not about how old they actually are, but how old they appear. Um, so always trying, our bonsai artist um, is always trying to kind of create that look of uh, a centuries old tree in a pot. That is so cool. Well, there's so many orchids and so many bonsai to see here. And how long is the show open until? Through March 3rd. Through March 3rd. So well, get on down here, put on a floral shirt, and come see some bonsai and, and orchids. I love it. You've oh, inspired yeah. us. We all need our floral shirts. I have my floral on. Yeah, ready you're ready. To go. You're ready to go now. I knew we were thinking spring today. I can't today. see it through the camera, but I believe you. <laughs> Got it. I wouldn't lie to you, Boaz. <laughs> All right, stay where you are, Boaz, because we're not done with you yet. And he'll be showing us more of the secrets at Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens a little bit later on in the show, so stay tuned for that.